Hello and welcome to my channel. Thanks to Matt from Nigeria, Imbo State, and attends Fidra Polytechnic, Nkede Oweri, for sending me this question. Now, let's see how you solve your question, Martin. Now, let's see. Um, this is a very simple question, right? Okay. So, let's see. This is a homogeneous equation. So, let's check for homogeneity, right? If we take multiply this by lambda, we have lambda x all squared minus lambda y all squared divided by lambda x times lambda y. So we have lambda squared x minus lambda squared y squared divided by lambda squared x y. So this is homogeneous of our degree 2. That's very great. Now, let's solve it in a very simple way, right? We are solving it in a simple way. Okay, so here if we let y equal to ux and then differentiate it implicitly with respect to x, check the description for my video on implicit differentiation. We are going to have the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to x plus, sorry, u plus x du on dx. Why are we getting this? If I differentiate x with respect to x, if I differentiate ux with respect to x, I'll get u. If I differentiate ux, that is differentiating u with respect to x, I'll get x times du on dx. That is very great. Now, this implies that we have dy dx here and we have another dy dx here. Great. So we write u plus x du on dx is equal to x squared minus we have y squared by y is ux. So we pick ux squared divided by x times ux. So we are going to have x du on dx is equal to x squared minus u squared x squared divided by x squared u minus u. As we bring this u here, now we have x du on dx equal to x squared times 1 minus u squared divided by x squared u minus u. That is, we factorize x squared out. So here we have x du on dx is equal to 1 minus u squared divided by u minus u. That's very great. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Now, here we are going to have x times du on dx equal to 1 minus u squared minus u squared divided by u. That is, u times u will give us this u squared. And the RCM is u. So we have x times du on dx equals 1 minus 2u squared divided by u. Okay, so we are going to have this. Let's wait for you to see. Let us flip it upside down. Right? Or you can do cross multiplication and then divide. So let's do that. This will multiply this and this will multiply this. So we have x du times u is equal to 1 minus 2u squared dx. So, I'm going to have u du divided by 1 minus 2u squared is equal to dx on x. Wow. So, this is the same as u on 1 minus 2u squared du equal to 1 on x dx. That's very great. 
So we integrate. So you take the integral of this and then you take the integral of this. Wow. Now let's see. For this integral, we use integral by substitution. So if we let t to equal to 1 minus 2 u squared, we have dt equal to minus 4 u du and we have dt on minus 4 u equal to du so here we are going to have the integral u on t times dt on minus 4 is equal to the integral so minus 4 u 1 on x dx Wow, so here this u will cancel this u and we have minus 1 on 4 the integral 1 on t dt equal to the integral 1 on x dx very very simple as that now let's see here if we integrate 1 on t dt we are getting ln of t that is ln t so we have minus 1 on 4 ln t is equal to ln x plus c. So here you see that most videos have the constant to be with this and that is wrong. Check that one out. Always the constant of integration should be with the x whether the x is on the left or the x is on the right note the constant of integration should not be on the right or shouldn't be on the left but it should be at where the x is that's all so assuming i was having the integral one on x the x is equal to minus one on four the integral 1 on t dt like this. Here you see that this one is on the left, right? So we are having lin x plus c is equal to minus 1 on 4 lin t. Don't bring the integral constant here. It should always be with the x. That's all. But in most videos, they have been doing it here, which is wrong. So always bring it on the left hand side. That's great. Now, From here, we can write our integral constant as plus natural log of c. So let's continue. So here, we are going to have this one as um, natural log of t exponent negative 1 on 4. Wow. Equal to natural log of x times c that is x times c when we are adding logs we multiply the numbers so <clears throat> we are going to have natural log of um, t exponent minus 1 on 4 and if I have t is so minus 1 I'm going to have 1 on t exponent 1 on 4 that's very simple so this will give us This will give us natural log of 1 on t is 1 on 4 equal to natural log of x times c. So if we take our antelope, we are having 1 on t power 1 on 4 equal to xc. Right? So we are going to have 1 equal to xc times t power 1 on 4 and if we find power 4 of each side we are going to have 1 equal to x power 4 c power 4 times t wow so what do we do here and yeah, we can do something so let's uh, clean some part of the board to get more space 
up to here we have c power 4 and here we have t but what is t let's see t equal to 1 minus 2 u squared so let's put in t we have 1 equal to x power 4 c power 4 times 1 minus 2 u squared wow that's very great so So we are going to have 1 equal to x power 4, c power 4, minus 2x power 4, c power 4. And what is u? Here, u is equal to y divided by x equal to u. From here, you can make u the subject. So here, we have y on x and u is squared so we squared it this will give us 1 equal to x power 4 c power 4 minus 2 x power 4 c power 4 y squared divided by x squared so here we are going to have 2 c 2 x power 4 c power 4 then let's do some simple simplification here. We have x squared here. So x squared will cancel x power 4 and have x squared. So I'm going to have 2x squared c power 4 y squared equal to x power 4 c power 4 minus 1. Wow. So we will have y squared equal to x power 4 c power 4 minus 1 all divided by 2x squared c power 4 wow so here this is a constant to the power 4 and this is also a constant to the power 4 so 2 exponent 2 will still give us a constant so c Power 4, let's say it's equal to a constant k, or you may say let's see power 4 equal to a constant c1, whatever you choose. But I'm choosing c power 4 equal to k. I'm going to have y squared is equal to k x to the power 4, where k is equal to c power 4 minus 1 divided by 2x squared k. Now, if I take square root of both sides, I'll have y equal to square root of plus or minus k of, let me write it here. If I take square root of both sides, I'm going to have y equal to plus or minus square root of kx power 4 minus 1 all divided by 2x squared k so I have y equal to plus or minus square root of kx power 4 minus 1 divided by square root of 2x squared k now I have y equal to plus or minus square root of kx power 4 minus 1 divided by square root of 2 times square root of x squared times square root of k wow so I have y equal to plus or minus square root of k x power 4 minus 1 all divided by I'm going to have this square root of 2k times x or here this or cancel that that's very simple or we can bring x in front here and write y equal to plus or minus square root of k x power 4 minus 1 divided by
x square root of 2 k where k is a constant wow that's very very simple as that thank you for watching please kindly subscribe to my channel like my videos share and leave your comments bye bye